Hello everyone, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlighten. Today, we delve into Meta's initiative to label AI-generated content and explore groundbreaking AI developments, alongside discussing innovative startups, transforming education and short-term rentals. Join us as we navigate these evolving landscapes, examining their impact on society and business. Meta is tackling the spread of fake images on social media by planning to label AI-generated content, even from rival services on its platforms Facebook, Instagram, and Threads. Nick Clegg, Meta's President of Global Affairs, announced efforts to embed visible markers, invisible watermarks, and metadata in images created by Meta's AI to distinguish them as AI-generated. The company is collaborating with Google, OpenAI, Microsoft, Adobe, Midjourney, and Shutterstock to identify and label their AI-generated images similarly. This initiative aims to enhance transparency for users encountering AI-generated content for the first time. Meta is developing tools to identify AI-generated audio and video, although marking these is challenging. Users will soon be required to disclose AI-generated video or audio content, facing penalties for non-compliance. Efforts are also underway to develop classifiers for detecting AI content without markers and to secure invisible watermarks against alterations. This move comes as concerns grow over AI imagery influencing public opinion, highlighted by incidents involving misleading AI-generated messages in politics. OpenAI is advancing its AI capabilities beyond ChatGPT, working on two new AI agent software aimed at automating complex tasks currently done by humans. One AI agent is designed to take control of a user's device to perform tasks such as transferring data between documents and spreadsheets, filling out and submitting expense reports to accounting software. This requires user permission to operate and may involve storing files and training data on the user's device. The second agent focuses on web-based tasks like research, creating itineraries, and booking flights. These developments, reported by the information, highlight OpenAI's efforts to extend AI's reach into daily operations, potentially displacing jobs that involve intricate tasks and decisions. The launch dates for these AI agents are yet unknown, despite being in development for over a year. Researchers from Google DeepMind and the University of Southern California have introduced a groundbreaking method to improve the reasoning skills of LLMs, named the Self-Discover Prompting Framework. Published on ArcSiv and Hugging Face, this framework significantly enhances the performance of models like OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Palm 2, with up to a 32% increase in challenging reasoning tasks. The self-discover approach enables LLMs to autonomously identify and use various atomic reasoning modules, creating explicit reasoning structures for problem solving. This method operates in two stages. First, composing a reasoning structure from atomic reasoning modules and task examples, and then decoding to solve the task based on this structure. In tests across various reasoning tasks, the self-discover approach notably outperformed traditional methods, achieving high accuracy rates. This advancement not only boosts LLM performance, but also moves AI closer to general intelligence, showing significant potential for future applications. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office has issued new guidelines clarifying the criteria for granting patents to inventions aided by AI. According to the updated policy, patents will be awarded for AI-assisted inventions if a natural person has made a significant contribution to the creative process. This move aims to emphasize the role of human ingenuity in innovation, ensuring that patents incentivize human creativity while not stifling future advancements in AI. The guidance specifies that using AI does not preclude a human from being recognized as an inventor, provided their contribution goes beyond merely presenting a problem to an AI system. For instance, a patent could be granted if a person significantly shapes the problem in a way that directs the AI towards a specific solution, or if they provide crucial input into the AI's development or training regarding a particular problem. 
The Patent Office has highlighted that only individuals, not AI systems, can be named as inventors on patents. This clarification comes amidst ongoing discussions on the intersection of AI and intellectual property rights, reflecting the need to adapt legal frameworks to technological advancements. Let's venture into exploring Gen Z's proactive embrace of generative AI for career growth. Gen Z is embracing generative AI, GAI, in education and the workplace, seeing it as a crucial career advantage. They're enrolling in GAI courses to gain an edge in jobs requiring such skills, with a significant number of tech majors and seniors planning to use GAI professionally. This enthusiasm contrasts with some workers' fears about GAI's impact on employment. Gen Z's proactive approach to learning AI skills, supported by platforms like Handshake and LinkedIn, indicates a readiness to leverage this technology for career advancement. Despite potential job disruptions highlighted by a McKinsey report, Gen Z's early exposure to GAI could position them better than older generations. Surveys reveal a strong belief among younger adults in AI's potential benefits over risks, with many willing to invest in education to master GAI. This generation's familiarity with tools like ChatGPT and proactive skill-building efforts suggest they are well prepared to navigate the evolving job market. Now let's move from the advancements in AI and its impact on society to explore innovative businesses, transforming industries through technology and creative solutions. Bob W., a Finn-based startup, is expanding its unique position in the premium short-term rental market. Unlike traditional platforms like Airbnb and Booking.com, Bob W operates 3,000 apart hotels in 17 European cities, offering a hybrid experience that combines the comfort of an apartment with the amenities of a hotel. This best-of-both-worlds approach is backed by a tech-driven model that significantly reduces staff needs, allowing for rapid scaling with minimal personnel. The company leverages apps for guests and operations, integrates with IoT for remote property management, and provides a digital marketplace for local services, enhancing guest experiences with personalized packages. Bob W's model circumvents typical short-term rental regulations by using commercial properties, avoiding the legal pitfalls faced by residential rentals. Catering to both individual and B2B clients, Bob W supports stays ranging from a few nights to several months, with a significant portion of its bookings coming from businesses seeking accommodation for employees. Bob W stands out for its ability to offer a seamless technology-enhanced stay that appeals to modern travelers and businesses alike, positioning it as a strong contender in the hospitality market. Edna Martinson and Clarence Tan's startup, Bottle Learning, is revolutionizing the way kids in grades K-6 learn math. Based in Tulsa, Oklahoma, this edtech platform combines adaptive 3D gaming with machine learning to make learning math concepts like fractions and multiplication more engaging. Students pick an avatar and play a variety of games that adapt to their learning level, ensuring they progress after mastering skills. What sets Bottle Learning apart is not just its immersive gaming approach, but also its teacher dashboard, which enables educators to share content, create assignments, and track student progress effectively. With the digital edtech market booming, Bottle Learning is carving a niche in an already explosive sector. Despite challenges, including the underrepresentation N of diverse leaders in venture capital funding, Martinson and Tan leveraged local pitch competitions and accelerator programs to secure initial funding and invaluable mentorship. Their efforts have paid off, with over 4 million registered users and adoption in over 25 school districts across the United States. Bottle Learning stands out for its unique use of gaming to capture children's interest in math, a strategy rooted in the founder's personal experiences and observations of educational shortcomings in the U.S. Their approach not only addresses the urgent need for improved math education, but also demonstrates the potential of innovative technology-driven solutions to make learning more effective and enjoyable. 
Join us as we discuss the Expensia acquisition. Expensia, a startup founded in Tunis and Paris by Karim Juini and Jihed Othmani, has carved a niche in the European market with its automated expense management solutions tailored for businesses. The company demonstrates the potential of African-founded products to serve global markets and achieve significant acquisitions. Expensia's software enables companies to automate spending within predefined rules, simplifying employee expense processes and integrating seamlessly with ERP applications for comprehensive financial oversight. The startup's journey from Tunis to Europe highlights the challenges and strategies involved in entering and succeeding in a mature market. Despite initial hesitations from potential European clients about using a product built by an African startup, Expensia focused on maintaining the highest quality standards, leveraging its advantageous position to attract top talent in Tunisia due to lower operational expenses and less competition compared to European tech giants. Expensia's success story is not just about technological innovation, but also about fostering a global mindset from the outset. This approach, combined with a focus on selling and learning from customer feedback, has helped the company grow its customer base to 6,000 businesses and 700,000 active users across 100 countries. The acquisition by Medius not only rewarded investors and employees financially, but also underscored the importance of African startups aiming for global competitiveness and creating high-quality jobs locally. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, the Enlight Me app is just a tap away. Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond, all curated to fit your interests. Download the Enlight Me app now at the Apple Store or Google Play, or visit the enlightme.ai website. Stay curious, stay enlightened.